What if, instead of becoming the warm-blooded mammals we are today, humans took a different evolutionary turn? What if we evolved to be cold-blooded? If we were ectothermic, like reptiles, our bodies wouldn't generate their own heat. Instead, we'd depend entirely on the environment to function. This one change would transform everything, from our physiology to civilization itself. Humans are endotherms. We burn calories to keep our core temperature stable, around 37 degrees Celsius or 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, regardless of the weather. This costs energy but enables consistency. Cold-blooded or ectothermic animals don't do this. Their body temperature rises or falls with the environment. If humans were cold-blooded, our biochemistry would shift. Enzymes, the proteins that drive every chemical reaction in the body, are temperature-sensitive. Cold temperatures would dramatically reduce brain activity, muscle function, even immune response. In essence, our ability to do anything would depend on being warm enough first. There's a metabolic trade-off. Ectotherms require far less food because they are not burning calories to stay warm. A crocodile can eat once every few weeks. A cold-blooded human might survive on a tenth of our current caloric intake. But we'd sacrifice high-speed thinking, sustained exertion, and even the ability to function in rapidly changing environments. We'd have bursts of activity during optimal temperatures and be nearly comatose in the cold. Forget early morning runs. Forget Arctic exploration. Without external heat, we'd literally shut down. Our entire lifestyle would orient around thermoregulation. Cities might cluster along the equator, think Nairobi, Manaus or Jakarta, where daily temperatures stay above 25 degrees Celsius. Humanity would have largely ignored migration to northern countries, leaving them wild and unexplored. We likely wouldn't have developed the same brain size or tool use. High-level cognition is energy-expensive and temperature-sensitive. Technology might still emerge, but slowly and likely focused on survival, not exploration. In a modern context, and assuming we overcame the evolutionary hurdles I just mentioned, we'd invent around our limitations. Clothing would function like mobile greenhouses. Space travel, which requires reliable internal temperature regulation, would be virtually impossible without radical innovation. A cold-blooded humanity would be more passive, more reactive and more vulnerable to climate. Civilization would shrink to the warmest regions of the planet, progress would be intermittent and our dominance of the biosphere far from guaranteed. In a warming world, cold-blooded humans might paradoxically thrive more in future climates, but at the cost of being even more vulnerable to heat waves and climate instability. Being warm-blooded may be one of the greatest evolutionary advantages we ever inherited. Thanks for watching. If you appreciate grounded speculative science without the fluff, hit subscribe. More what-if scenarios coming soon.